The new COVID liability protection bill in Florida is being called the most aggressive of its kind in the country. It's purpose to discourage frivolous lawsuits against government's health care facilities and also businesses. But trial attorneys say the law is unnecessary and it hurts consumers. All your size, Ken Amaro joining us live now with more on what this all means. Ken. You know, Anthony, this COVID-19 pandemic has changed our lives in so many ways. You come into a public space like this. I'm at the Elbow District downtown, and you're watching carefully to see if CDC guidelines are being followed so you can make a determination if you should come or go. Now, this, this law, this COVID liability protection law, uh, it seems as a preemptive strike against lawsuits. We don't know of any lawsuits. But trial attorneys say this law comes at the price of consumers. At the Blue Bamboo, owner Dennis Chan tells me he follows all CDC COVID-19 protocols. We've spaced our tables so that people will feel comfortable. He says following the rules should be enough to protect a business from a patron suing them. As long as we follow the rules, um, then you know we shouldn't be able to we shouldn't be blamed for something that may happen. Even so, Chan is one of many business owners who support Florida's COVID liability protection law. I think that the legislation just provides us an extra layer of protection. The law requires a person filing the lawsuit to provide an affidavit from a doctor attesting the defendant caused the plaintiff's injuries or damages. We've seen this game plan before. Eddie Farah is a personal injury attorney and says the new law is bad for the consumer. If you got to prove gross negligence that almost the business owner deliberately ignored the guidelines, that's a tough burden to overcome. And it's the haves have gone to Tallahassee again. Big business has gone to Tallahassee. The insurance companies have gone to Tallahassee and passed on another law um, that restricts accountability, prevents accountability, and um, gives them a free ride. Ferris says it's just another piece of legislation that is not necessary. There are laws right now on the books that prevent frivolous lawsuits. There are laws on the books that penalize people that brings frivolous lawsuits. Uh, Eddie Ferris told me that this law basically denies you and I the right to file a complaint. Now, if you are going to file a complaint, one of the conditions of this new law is that you have to do it within a year. Most tort cases, the, the timeline is three to four years. So that's the situation. It's the law of the land right now, and there's no indication if it's going to be challenged during the next legislative session. Back to you.